Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Go to HelloFresh.com and type in Sabi and Lauren 14 to get your 14 free meals, including free shipping. HelloFresh delivers right to your door and it comes with all of the ingredients that you need for the meals that you picked out in the exact portions you need. You don't waste any food and it saves you a lot of trips to the grocery stores. You can change what dates you want it delivered on and what meals you want delivered. Add extra meals if you want or skip a whole week altogether if you're not feeling like cooking. Or you can even change the meals around if you're looking to do a diet. HelloFresh also has more five-star meal recipes and the other meal kit currently and so there's just a whole abundance of meals to choose from. It's a great way to freshen up your cooking skills or try out new recipes. They've been really delicious. The one I made today was the chicken penne and it was really easy to make. This is the meal that uh, we, we, we got from HelloFresh. What is this baby? Chicken penne. First bite. It even has pictures to kind of give you preference because I don't know what I'm doing when I'm cooking. I found that very helpful. And with me being in the hospital, it was definitely a nice change of meals. From getting in the hospital, it's always nice when I'm able to cook something from home. Go to HelloFresh.com and type in Sabi and Lauren 14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. So for this video, we got Lauren up in his new bucket. Which is really exciting um, and the nurses here were nice enough to let us go outside for a little bit. That was the second time that I've been up in my bucket yes. that you guys saw so it was practically the first. Yeah. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to our channel. Yeah, we reached 300,000 subscribers about last week which is crazy. That's a lot of people. <laughs> 300,000. Yeah, so we just wanted to thank you guys for actually enjoying our content enough to subscribe to us and for coming back constantly and, re and watching our videos as we post them. So yeah, so just keep making sure that you hit that like button, share the videos, and turn on the bell notifications so you, you get notified when we post. Again, thank, thank you guys, guys so much. Alright, so we weren't able to get uh, video footage instantly when we got the uh, body prosthetic at uh, Clark's Orthopedic where we got the body prosthetic. But as you guys can see, this is the finalized body prosthetic. And you guys are probably questioning, oh, what about when the ileostomy happens? Um, your ostomy. They are already planned to work around that, so it's not going to be a problem whatsoever. I'm just going to have to lay down for a little bit longer while they work around that. But, as you can see, it has air cells all around on the inside of it. And there's about three different hoses. There's one hose for the bottom, one hose for the chest plate to air it up, and there's another hose for the sides and back to help air it up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna you're gonna watch Sabia help me get in it because I can't get in it yet. It's way too big, way too big. I haven't mastered, got the chance to master it yet. Everything about it's bigger than it was. I don't. I donated my whole wardrobe to a Salvation Army, but yeah. Gotta wear extra, extra large shirts now, so. I'm a biggins. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright. Do we need to call in on the wheelchair? Let's get to it. Yeah, we gotta call in a wheelchair. It's kind of a process getting it all together. I, it is if you're one handed by yourself.
So when we get in it, the bottom is aired up all the way, but everything else is kind of like, man, like halfway aired up or quarter of the way aired up. But the bottom, bottom is aired up all the way just because I'm putting all my pressure on it so there's going to be no way to air it up once I, once I do get up. Every, every, everything about this uh, body prosthetic is way more like heavy duty, intense, more, more final. Well, what she's doing is she's airing up the hoses that are in the bucket. She's just airing them up to where I feel comfortable. That's good, baby. And you, you want to do it like a little bit past what's comfortable because a little bit of air is going to come out, of course. But, be comfortable. We're still having trouble figuring out the straps. Like I said, everything's heavy duty. There we go, that's perfect. Oh, it needs a wheelchair. All right, but this is the body prosthetic. We got a little coverage for the boss right here. Um, they didn't put uh, any bags for the uh, nephrostomy bags, but that's because I'm getting my surgery. So uh, I won't need the nephrostomy bags. And then just right here on the other side of my stomach, somewhere is where the uh, iliostomy will be. So yeah, that's that's the body prosthetic, and that's how you get in it. Man, guys, I I cannot begin to explain how much better this bucket is compared to the old one. The first time sitting up, I was able to sit up four hours instantly. And the first bucket, it was like, one hour and I was in pain. This bucket is just so much, so much, so much better than the old one. I was actually able to go outside and get some sun for the first time in a long while. I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten outside to get some sun, but this was actually the first time in a long while that I've gotten to go outside and get some sun. But what you see here is just uh, one of the CNA nurses taking us down the floor is to uh to a little waterfall that they have inside the hospital and we just roamed around and hung out a little bit so i could sit up in my bucket and get some sunlight and yeah just get them hours in that i gotta do you know but guys it's 
it's a whole new experience. I mean, the second time that I sat up in it, I was able to sit up four hours and I didn't even want to get out of it. So I'd forced me out of it. So I didn't get any pressure sores. The body prosthetic, I'd say it was needed for more than a year and a half. So it's definitely, definitely nice to have the body prosthetic finally. Thank you guys for all the love and appreciation. So we were supposed to leave for Seattle on the 6th, but because Lauren got by stuck- By train. Yeah, by train, but because Lauren got stuck in the hospital with pain, that didn't seem very plausible. So we're now leaving on the 13th uh, via an air ambulance and Lauren's getting admitted straight to Seattle's Children's Hospital. So we'll be able to update, uh, up, update you guys then. Um, and we'll be moving forward with the surgery and everything, so yep. stick around for that. We'll be getting a ureostomy slash ileostomy surgery. I don't know which one it is officially, but we'll be getting that surgery in Seattle. We'll be leaving uh, the bucket pro or the body prosthetic here, so they can start working on it um, almost instantly. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Seattle will be fun. Um, Lauren's supposed to be admitted roughly about two weeks after the surgery, and then um, we'll be there another about two weeks after he gets discharged, so hopefully I can, we can see a bit of Seattle together. And then after that, you will start to see me online, and I'll start kicking some, <laughs> start kicking some booty uh, on some Call of Duty and some, you know. Because I know a bunch of you guys have been following the other channel at iAce Nation, where I will be dropping my uh, game gaming compilations on my YouTube and then my live uh, Twitch channel at iAce Nation. So, Thank you see guys you guys for there. We'll one see you one next night, time. get there. Have a good one, guys. Bye.